In this video, we will calibrate a Mini-Ray 3000 photoionization detector. Photoionization is the process by which an ultraviolet lamp ionizes volatile organic compounds. The ionized gas then passes over a sensor which detects the charge and then converts that signal into a current. The current is then amplified and displayed on the unit as a reading in parts per million. The Mini-Ray 3000 detects VOCs at a range of 0 to 15,000 parts per million. It features real-time readings, wireless data logging capability, and a humidity compensation. For calibration, we will need the following supplies. A canister of isobutylene at a concentration of 100 ppm, a regulator, and a Tedlar bag. Also, please remember to always use an external filter whenever using a PID. To begin, the unit is turned on by pressing and holding the middle power button. Once the unit displays a reading, it is ready. Press and hold the power and end buttons together until the screen changes. Use the Y and N buttons to input the default password, which is 0000, and then press the middle button to move on. The unit will now display the setup menus. Please note the three icons at the bottom of the display. These icons will show the function of each button while using the Mini-Ray 3000. To begin calibration, make sure the calibration menu is highlighted and press Y. Next, press Y again to select zero calibration. Please take a moment to make sure that you are in a clean, fresh air environment. Then, press Y to begin the zero calibration. The unit will now take readings and update its calibration memory. Once the zero calibration is complete, press Y to select Span Calibration. The display will show the current gas and concentration and ask if you want to change this. If no change is needed, press the End button. Also, please note that isobutene is another name for isobutylene. Now, open the valve on your Tedlar bag and make a secure connection to the probe tip. Once the unit detects gas, it will begin calibrating automatically. Once the span calibration is complete, the display will confirm the calibrated reading. At this point, we recommend that you keep the bag connected and perform a functional bump test. The test will ensure that the calibration was successful. Press the middle button once, and then press the middle button again to go to the main display. You should notice that the unit is reading a concentration of 100 ppm, or at least within 5% of 100 ppm. After a moment, disconnect the Tedlar bag and make sure the readings drop to an acceptable reading close to zero. This completes the calibration of the Mini-Ray 3000. Remember, if you have any questions regarding this or any other project, a knowledgeable and experienced U.S. environmental associate is ready to assist you.